Oh, hey guys, Paul Cram here. I am still in, in my hotel, obviously, um, and the camera might jiggle just a little bit. I have it up, propped up on my suitcase. I just wanted to share some of the, and actually ask you questions. Um, I've been traveling quite a bit, and I realize, like, for myself, I like to bring, um, I usually like to bring, um, like, a, a clone or whatever and, and you know when I'm flying on a plane stick it on my wrist or something like that uh, obviously I don't use sense when I'm traveling on a plane or in, in confined spaces with lots of people that are I don't wear sense that are super strong or project you know silage monsters or project too much for the obvious reason that I think it's invasive to people that can't get away from that uh, but I do think there's a lot of really good scents out there that are closer to the skin and they don't project quite so much, but still you smell nice. Uh, a few of the ones that I brought with me out here to Maine are the ones that I was going to uh, just quickly describe and go through and um, see there's five of them and actually one of them I picked up uh, while I was out here at the store. So. Uh, the first one, because uh, it's in my hand, is the the Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I'm gonna. I always kill this. I should look up how to pronounce it, but it's L H O M M E. I think it's. It, I think it's. Is it home? Hum. It's French. Uh, this one. It's. It's really nice. It's. I think I've talked about this before in some of the other times that I've mentioned scent. Uh, there's something about it that reminds me of apples, and I think I've heard that a lot on discussion boards and things like that. Uh, it's very fresh. It's I think there's a lot of uh, actually ginger in there too. Um, but yeah, it's just a really clean, nice, very inoffensive scent that kind of sticks close to the skin. The dry down there is definitely um, a little bit of a like a vanilla in there so it's a nice comforting kind of a scent. Uh, this is one that I wore on the plane out here to Maine. And the other ones that I brought with me, um, this one actually is Tokyo Milk. Uh, if you can see that, Tokyo Milk. They have a full line of different different scents but this is the one that I like of theirs. It's Sugar Sugar and it Actually, it, the reason I tried it at first because it had the the basmati rice um, note in there, and I love this one. This one sticks fairly close to the skin, but it, it has a really nice vanilla uh, sweet. It's pretty sweet, sweet vanilla and that sandalwood and and rice scent. If you like um, the smell of kind of like a rice pudding, you'll probably really enjoy this smell because. That's kind of exactly what I get out of it is, is a rice pudding, uh, you know, just a, maybe a barely a hint of cinnamon, but mostly it's it's vanilla and um, yeah, it has that rice that if you, if you like the smell of like a sweet rice pudding, that's definitely, definitely in there too. The one, I actually bought this one when I was out here. Um, I went, I visited the mall and actually was running through some department stores getting some, trying to find a shirt actually for an interview for Channel 8, but um, this one I, I found, I took a smell of it. It's it's uh, Christian Dior, and again, it's that H-O-M-M-E word. It's the home, hom, ohm. Uh, basically, it's, 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 this one, this one I shouldn't say, this one, it doesn't, I, this one I think out of all of them that I have here is not, as close to the skin, this one actually projects a little bit. Uh, it's not like an offensive smell at all. It's again, it's a really clean kind of fresh smell. Um, I think, actually, I think what it is about this one that makes it kind of stand out, though, you know, more than the rest is uh, the rest of them. I, I, that kind of vanilla, comforting, cozy smell. I think that's fairly familiar to people, so I don't know that, you know, if somebody smelled that, I don't know that they would be like, oh my gosh, you're wearing, you're wearing, so, it's so strong. Uh, but this one, while it's, it's fairly quiet, as far as scents go, it has that iris in there. Um, and the iris, it's one of those, it's one of those smells where you, at least I do, I notice it. It's not offensive, it's nice, but it's just, it's definitely, it's like, huh. 
Uh, it's not it's not a scent, I guess. It's not the iris, I guess, is a smell that I'm not used to smelling just around um, you know, food or anything like that. It's it's a it's a distinct smell. So this one, um the Christian Dior. This one actually I picked up uh that's you for men. So I think this is a limited uh run on this or something, but it's very similar to the their regular just the Christian Dior um home. I wanna say homey. Uh, I also um, brought the the MC MC Garden. I don't know that this would be a great bet for wearing on a plane because um, it has a lot of basil in it. It reminds me a lot of Joe Malone's Lime Basil Mandarin. And the thing with this one is that it's it's an Eau de Parfum, so it's not um, it's not cologne, so it's it's a little bit stronger. Uh, I wonder if I should have even included this one just because of the fact that it has a really strong basil scent in there. And with that basil, um, it's it's pungent. So I don't maybe that one wouldn't be good for, to wear on a plane. I, I, I won't wear this on the plane, you know, heading back or forward, um, going back home because it's, 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 I think it's a little too much for people. Uh, lastly, this one. This one, I think I've, I think if I've, in looking around and hearing some fragrance reviews and things like that, um, I, I think this might react a little bit differently on different people. Uh, this is Prada, Amber, Poor, Poor, Um, Home, Um, Homie. <laughs> Amber, Poor, Homie. That's what I want to say. Uh, on me, this is really light. It's, it's not a strong scent at all. Uh, yeah, this this stays really close to my skin. It's not a projection monster. I do believe I have again, like I said, I think I've I think I've read or heard that there are some there are some people that have that wear that and they're like, oh yeah, this this stands out. But I don't know. It might be a chemistry thing. Uh, on me, it, it stays pretty close to the skin. It's a really nice scent. Um, I don't. Gosh, I almost wouldn't even classify this as like an Oriental. Um, but I might be, <laughs> no, I mean, it has a spice thing going on. So I don't know. I think the thing for me I'm realizing too is my nose, uh, my nose is not the most sophisticated when it comes to smelling different scents. It's very much, um, you know, like even the, the MC MC garden, like when I smell it, I'm like, it smells like basil to me, but there's other notes in there, but I'm just like the overall, the overall effect I get is basil. Same with the Christian Dior. There's a whole bunch of uh, things going on in there, but for my nose, it's just like, you know, it's got the iris thing going on. The sugar, sugar, you know, it smells like uh, rice pudding. And uh, so I might not have the most sophisticated nose, I'm realizing when I'm, when I'm listening to some other people's reviews of scent and things like that. So uh, take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, and, and share with me too. If you guys, I'm sure... You guys maybe have some suggestions on scents that I would like to travel with. I do find myself gravitating towards, you know, a little bit more of a fresh smell. Um, at some point, I'll have to share some of the, the heavier hitters that I have. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to share some of those that are things that I would travel with and am traveling with. So, all right. Thanks, you guys. I hope that you're having a really good rest of your weekend. I think, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye.